welcome. Today I have this sweet little fall journal to share with you and um, I'm excited because I love the way it turned out but also I've never done a fall journal before so I was kind of excited to do that. When it came time to do my um, Tsunami Rose design team project for this month, I decided to do a fall theme. So this one has this little cute, before I forget, little cute little pumpkin charm here. And um, it has three signatures and it has a um, fabric spine. This is a, uh, a good thick uh, canvas fabric, like a painter's canvas kind of thing. And I like to use it a lot because it's very versatile but, and it's very strong too. But having said that, it does have a um, very flexible spine as you can see. There's a little thread. <laughs> and um, so you may or may not like that. I really like it because you, the journal lays flat in all places. So let's go through it. Um, I used all um, Tsunami Rose digital images and I'll link to her shop down below and also list the kits that I used. So let's get started. This is an image on the cover from her kit, a little wooden frame that I um, painted. Um, okay, so I have a pocket here with a faux postcard and bingo card. This is, again, all these are from her kit. They're just really, really pretty. I love the way those turned out. A um, library, faux library card and um, a little crocheted doohickey. <laughs> Tiny doily, I don't know what that's called. And I put some Edith Holden pages in each signature. I put one page, or a double page beautiful book page. I did a little bit of stamping, not a lot, on tea dyed paper. And then I also made this little card with a crocheted image on it that I just thought was so darn cute. This um, this is um, paper from Tsunami Rose, or Tsunami Rose Digital Kit of coffee dyed paper, which I love using because I will probably never <laughs> go to the trouble of making paper like this and it's so easy to print it out and it looks so pretty probably a lot prettier than I could make anyway so tag this is an old envelope I just I have thought about using it in the I'll show you one I used later on in this journal but I never did but it's pretty so I included it in there and this brown paper is some paper that I dyed using acorn ink that I made myself <laughs> I love that deep brown color. It's just so pretty for fall especially. So some book pages that I thought looked nice. Here's an old ledger book and a little um, piece of a hanky that I dyed. Um, I love those colors with some things tucked in. And I also dyed this paper with a um, just a writ dye in orangey color. I can't remember the name of it. These are the beautiful images from that kit. And here's the faux, I mean the old um, envelope that I did use because I just thought that looked so pretty on this paper. With a little faux postcard tucked in and I left it, oh, I'm now having trouble getting it back in, and I left it, I open up the top so you can put a um, tag there. And here's the rest of that paper, some other uh, fabrics that I dyed, and I put two little pockets there with two little cards, some more book pages, and images, that's the first signature, second signature. I copied one of her images onto vellum. So you can see that's transparent. It's very pretty, I think. More book pages, sheet music, more of her images. I attached that to my acorn ink paper. Beautiful writing on that book page, I thought. More Edith Holden. Pretty um, scrapbook paper. And it's funny because I came across the scrapbook paper <laughs> And I had no idea where I got it from or anything about it, but it matched nicely here. This is from the kit too. A little bit more stamping. This is more 
and beautiful images. And another little pocket there. Edith Holden. And this is a little flip. I'll make sure you can see that. And I just tucked a little card in there. And my sheet music, book pages, the other side of that beautiful vellum paper. That's the end of the second signature, third signature. How pretty that is. It's a little doily I dyed with the with these papers. I also dyed some doilies. Isn't that funny how that comes out so dark and this one is a little bit lighter, but that's how it goes. I probably sewed the doily longer anyway. More book pages. <laughs> More Edith Holden, how pretty that is. And I just paper clipped this um, little card onto there. Some pretty fall leaves, a little bit more stamping, more beautiful images, and some more fabric that I dyed. Oh, that's kind of dangling. I actually have my scissors right here, so let me cut that off while I'm, <laughs> while I'm doing that. And this is an envelope that you flip like this. And I tucked a little card in there. And um, this is also from her kit. I printed these um, onto vellum. The, they're very pretty, and you can kind of see through it there. Um, it's a lot of darkness behind, so maybe not as good as you could see it on a lighter piece of paper. This is just a little piece of fabric that I had, and um, I thought it just looked nice with these um, colors. There's that doily, and that's the end of the journal. A little pocket in the back with a couple little cards tucked in. And that's the back of the journal. So that's it. I hope you like it. This will be available in my Etsy shop, which I'll link below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.